G'day guys, swag camping is such a traditional way of camping in the Aussie bush. This is my swag and I'll show you my setup. That was quick, set up, ready to go. Now how easy was that to set up? Now swags have been around since the late 1800s, long before motor transport even existed. And back in those days, they were pretty much used by workers on foot, you know, heading for rural outback cattle stations and the mining industry. And they pretty much carried their homes on their backs as they roamed from place to place. And these days, I carry my bush home on the roof of my four-wheel drive. So now I'll show you my setup. Now, this is my swag here. Now this one would be the oh, best part of probably 12, 15 year old. Uh, it's had a fair bit of use. It gets used a great deal and it's been absolutely fantastic swag. Now, and I always just like it set up on the ground. Look, I've always set it up on the ground and pretty much for me, I like it on the ground so that's where it's always gonna stay. Occasionally, you know, if um, you know, set up where it's on, the ground's wet or it's rain or whatever, well, you know, I might get a tarp and, you know, and put a tarp on the ground underneath it or something like that. But pretty much, this is how it gets set up all the time. And at the front here, you'll notice I've rolled this front flap up. Now I do that, doesn't matter how cold the, the weather is, whether, you know, even camp out the snow, whatever, I always roll this front flap up. I just like to get that ventilation, you know, through through the swag of night time. And, you know, if it's really cold there on some of the nights, I'll maybe just chuck a beanie in one of the corners here and, you know, and uh, and I'll throw a beanie on, on the head if if that's the case. But but this is my my swag. It's, you know, pretty simple to set up. Um, you know, and this is all I do with it. Just throw that over the top. This is how I get into my swag all the time. Just always get in this this way. Um, so much easier to get in here than trying to get in through the front. Now that's my swag. That's as I say pretty simple. The only thing I don't keep in it all the time is my pillow. You know, I'll take that in and out each time I roll it up. But but this is all I've got in it. Just a couple of blankets. You know, big thick woolly blankets. These are fantastic. I've got one that I get underneath it, and I've got another one that I've got wrapped around the mattress there, and that's pretty much my setup and I'm always toasty warm inside there which is absolutely fantastic and then just got these couple of couple of mats here another one at the front there you know you can put your boots under there every night time and you know keep the dew and everything off them or whatever or keep them nice and dry so um yeah that's pretty much my setup and I love it now yeah, just a little, little tip um you know, I'll give you when you said when you buy a new swag and and something you should uh, look at doing, and that's certainly get them seasoned. Now, as I say, this one's the best part of 12, 15 year old. It's never leaked. Uh, it's got canvas bottom in it. But the way how I've seasoned my swag from day one, I've only ever done it once, and it's been absolutely fantastic. From the first day I bought it, um, I pulled everything out, mattress, everything out from inside, so just left with the, the blank canvas swag sort of leftover. Um, and I put it in the bath, and I soaked it in a bath overnight. Um, so that way it gets absolutely saturated. The water gets right in, you know, into all the canvas and into all the stitching, absolutely soaks it. And then the next day, brought it outside, put the poles back on it, set it up sort of as it is now, but again, without any mattress or anything inside it, and let it dry out in the sun. Now, the warmer you can get the sun on it, the quicker it dries, the quicker the canvas shrinks. Because when a swag leaks, it doesn't so much leak sort of through the canvas. Where it leaks is through the stitching. So the idea of having that canvas shrink, it shrinks around the stitching and that's what seals your swag up and makes him nice and waterproof. And this one been that way ever since day one. <laughs> well, there you go, guys. That's my swag set up. And yep, it hasn't taken me long to show you around my setup because that is the beauty of a swag. They're just quick, simple, easy, and you're ready to go camping. So I'd be pretty keen to see how you set your swags up. Do you put them on the ground like this one or do you put them up on a stretcher? I see quite a few people, you know, they like to put them up on stretchers, get up off the ground. But for me, I just love whacking it straight on the ground like this. So I might get ready, get set up here for the night and um, fair chance, I'll see you guys out in the bush someday.